He took in more than $14 million from investors, promising them massive returns on their money. But federal regulators no, now say that Victor Farias's company was a Ponzi scheme disguised as a legitimate business. The night team's Dylan Collier explains the collapse of Integrity Aviation and the lasting fallout for those who backed it. This text message was sent last October from Victor Farias, owner of Integrity Aviation, to Susan Perez, one of the initial investors in his Bernie-based company that by that time was already in the crosshairs of the United States Securities and Exchange Commission. In the text, Farias very much played the role of victim, claiming he had lost everything, been beaten up twice, had his tires slashed, house shot up, and even was institutionalized after his business venture of buying jet engines and then leasing them to major airlines had gone belly up. They were just taking money. For Perez, who was led to believe her $380,000 investment would generate a more than $150,000 profit over four years, it was hard to muster any sympathy. How much have you gotten back of that $380,000? I got a check for $10,000. Her husband, a San Antonio fire captain, died in 2011 after complications from a routine surgery, leaving behind a significant sum of money he'd saved during his nearly three-decade career with the department. Integrity Aviation and its promise of 12% returns each year seemed like the perfect investment opportunity. It wasn't. This lawsuit filed against Farias by the SEC in San Antonio Federal Court last month shows since 2015 his company had not purchased a single engine, only a small portion of funding ever going to its intended purpose. Farias instead, according to the feds, used nearly half of the money he'd raised to make bogus interest payments back to investors, funneling millions more into a friend's gas station project and for his own personal use. I feel, of course, cheated angry. Uh, I feel like I let Ralph down. Perez was one of 50, yes 50, Integrity Aviation investors to sue Farias in state district court as part of two lawsuits. One suit is pending. In the one that Perez was part of, a judge issued a default judgment in favor of Perez and her co-plaintiffs in February after Farias failed to show up. Perez is now owed six figures in restitution, but believes she'll never get it back. No chance. No chance. No chance to even get the, the base investment. For the defenders, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News. Ferias did write in an email that he's cooperating with the SEC and his priority is making restitution to his clients. According to federal records, he has been served with the SEC lawsuit and has until early next week to answer that. A source also says the FBI is investigating Ferias, but so far has not been charged.